phenomenal, um, phenomenal cathedral, I think, finished in 1744. Let me give you a few more nighttime shots here. The whole town is out in the streets. Lots of people. There's within about 10 minutes walk, there are about uh, four, five churches, if not more, that are lit up. Beautiful buildings. It's a gorgeous colonial city here. I just had to come here. I'm spending two days here. I arrived today at roughly 11 in the morning. Had a lovely city tour with a local expert. And then had a nice dinner right in front of the cathedral and now I'm just walking through the nighttime streets of Morelia in the state of Michoacan right here in the heart of Mexico it doesn't get much more gorgeous than that that's for sure mm -hmm. we've got some emergency vehicles here all the streets downtown here are blocked off. Usually this is one of the busiest roads in the in the city. And I just wanted to give you a few more views of what it looks like here. 915, 930 at night. Traffic is being diverted in this direction here. The streets were completely blocked before and I don't think it's much better right now. So that's where traffic is blocked off here. And the big crowds are dispersing. It's a beautiful church in the distance here. Yep. So I'm gonna take you over there in a second here. It's funny when uh, Canadians and maybe to some degree Americans travel to Mexico, most of them think of the coastal areas such as Cancun, Cozumel, Puerto Vallarta on the Pacific side. Uh, but the area that I honestly have to say fascinates me the most is the colonial heartland of Mexico. All the uh, old towns and cities that were founded in the 1500s have outstanding colonial architecture as you can see and the heritage here is so well preserved particularly here in Morelia uh, from what I've been reading there are almost 1200 uh, buildings here fully preserved uh, okay. dating from the 16th century to the 18th or 19th century so very historic and um, that's one of the main reasons why it has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, it's also a very significant economic center of the area. It's the capital of the state of Michoacan. It has about, from what I learned today, about 1.5 million people. It grew very rapidly after 1985 because a lot of people moved here from Mexico City after the big earthquake. Let me go across the street actually. Here's a look back at the cathedral. So huge population growth in the last 25 years. And the um, gr city grew from about 250,000 people to 1.5 million from what I heard today. So that's uh, most definitely an extremely significant population growth. Um, I had a tour through the city today with a local uh, local tour guiding expert by the name of Rodrigo Munoz who took me uh, through town and showed me some of the newer areas and as you can imagine with this kind of recent population growth a lot of the areas on the outskirts are very very modern and very new so it looks like a very progressive city Rodrigo was also explaining to me that uh, the city is a big educational center. It has about 12 universities. Let me show you here. Here's another church that's lit up on the right here. And we're approaching another one of the main church buildings in town here. 
very young population. He also explained that there are quite a few Europeans living here, Spanish people, and they really enjoy the fact that uh, there are a lot of young people living in the city. And I just wanted to take you closer to this other major church that used to be part of a monastery. The um, weather has actually been perfect. The whole week I've been following the weather forecast and it was continuously saying it was going to rain every day. And it was only a couple of days ago when I went on a tour to the town of Tequila, where they make, guess what, tequila, uh, that we had a few raindrops. So the weather this week has been very, very good. It's still a little bit chilly, I would say maybe 17, 18 degrees Celsius here. Not hugely warm, but pleasant. And um, I'm hoping we'll have great weather for tomorrow for our excursion to Lake Pazcuaro. Let me show you, here's another church that's lit up. There are illuminated churches and buildings everywhere here in uh, Morelia. And it's uh, definitely a city that deserves its designation of UNESCO World Heritage Site. Show it to you once again right here in Morelia.